Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I just want to talk briefly to you guys um, about something that's been very important to me um, as far as to talk to you guys about. Um, I definitely want to reach out to you guys about sin and how important that is and how much God hates it and how much that is so critical for us to understand in order for us to live a successful Christian life um, and a great life in general. Um, sin is... Is, is is damaging to anyone. We've all, as the word says, we've all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But about that, we have to get to a point where that doesn't become an excuse to continue to sin without any remorse, without any conviction, without any sort of understanding about how much God loves us. I mean, about how much God hates sin. So we may wonder, what is sin? Okay, so sin is an immoral act that totally comes against God's law. Um, we have to get to a point where sin is, we hate sin. We have to hate sin just like Christ. As Christians, we should be what? Christ-like, right? So with that being the case, we should be more and more like Christ, hating sin as well. Obviously, we're not perfect beings, but we have to continue. That's something that's said a lot. We have to continue to stop. We have to stop saying that as well. Stop using Stop using that as an excuse because what happens is once we constantly throw that out there and say we're not perfect, we're not perfect, we're not perfect, what the enemy does is going to use that as a way to continue to catapult you into sinning more and more and more and more. And what happens is that that it, it doesn't create a conviction that we need to have in order for us to grow and grow more in Christ. There's a lot of, there's a lot of sin out there. There's a lot of sin that goes on out there. And that's for, I'm going to give you some examples disobedience lying uh, sexual immorality homosexuality I know that's a touchy subject but it has to be said um, any kind of sin that totally comes against God's law and according against what he stands for we have to be willing to stay focused and stay strong in God and the way to do that is to defeat sin Jesus died for it he died for our sins he was bruised for our way he was wounded for our uh, transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. By his stripes, we are healed. He died for our sins. Thank God he died for us. Because if he didn't, we all would be gone, dead and gone a long time ago. The reason why I say that is because back then they, they lived according to laws, religious laws, religious laws. But because God gave us uh, because Jesus died for us He gave us grace but Remember not take, Don't take advantage of God's grace The grace that he's given us And the way we do that The way we take advantage of God's grace Is what? Constantly going against God Knowing that you're going to sin And you continue to sin But not have no true repentance of, And asking God for forgiveness the thing about it is God will forgive us, but we have to have true repentance. We have to have true repentance and understand that God is not playing. God is not playing. True repentance is learning, asking God for forgiveness and learning from your mistakes and growing from it. You're not growing from it if you continue to do it. We have to continue to understand that we, the Christian life is a lifestyle. We have to understand that and understand that in order for us to learn, in order for us to grow in Christ, we have to understand that we have to get into his word. We have to do all those necessary things to help us, to catapult us to the next level. By us growing in Christ and by us defeating sin, what is going to happen is going to affect our lifestyle. And then not, not only is it going to affect our lifestyle, but our children's lifestyle. Our children's children's lifestyle. Think about, think about what's going on now. Think about what's going on with a lot of people out here in this world. People may be going through certain struggles and certain addictions in life. Because maybe they saw their parents going through that same thing. Break that cycle. Break that cycle. But it starts with you. It starts with you. He talks about it. He talked. God talks about it in Genesis chapter six. Jesus brought. He brought. God brought the flood to defeat, to kill, take away everybody from the face of this earth. Well, back then. Because of sin. Because of sin. He hates sin that much. Understand how much he hates sin. 
He doesn't hate you, but he hates sin. Don't allow the enemy to take freedom away from you any longer. He gives us free will. God gives us free will to make the right decision. But the thing is, what decision are we going to choose? The tree of life or the tree of knowledge of good and evil? Good and evil. What are we going to choose? That decision will determine your fate. Heaven or hell. Love you guys. Stay encouraged and understand God will forgive you. But it starts with you. It starts with you. Love you guys. God bless.